the equalizer, which allows you to edit any sound so that it fits seamlessly into the overall soundscape of your production, is likely one of the most important tools for creating a great mix. My name is Thomas Foster and in this tutorial I will show you how to use the Fruity Parametric EQ2 to effectively edit vocals and other sounds. I'm glad to have you here, let's go! So let's open the mixer and here for this tutorial I simply choose the master channel, I select the master channel, go here to slot 1 and here under filter we find the fruity parametric EQ2 of FL Studio 21. We can make this a little bigger here over the screen, wonderful. That's the parametric, fruity parametric EQ2 and I have here a sound generator, it's um, not from FL Studio, it's a plugin called Serum, one of the most famous, uh, most used synthesizers and I have here a simple sinus note, that's a note without any overtones and maybe you heard about 440 hertz, the Kammerton 440 hertz we say in German, uh, that's the note where the orchestra is tuning the instruments. So we have this 440 hertz, what means this? This means 440 waves per second, right? And if we go down to the half of it, means 220 hertz, it's exactly one octave lower. So this is 440, this is 220. Uh, so if we go down one octave, that's one octave. If we go down another octave, that's 110 hertz. Maybe if you listen on your handy, uh, it's already a problem to hear this. Um, and the next octave, we go down to 55, so again the half of it. You should have good speakers to hear this. 50, uh, that's 55 hertz. So 440, 220, 110, 55 and again 25 hertz. We are able to hear this because human, if human comes to life, they are able to hear 20 hertz to 20,000, that means 20 kilohertz, right? Um, the older you get, the more you're losing the high frequencies and then you maybe with 60 or 70, you are happy if you can hear 5,000 hertz. So again, here we have our 440 hertz. Let's double it to 880. That's again one octave higher. Sounds like the same note, but one octave higher. We double it again to 1760, one octave higher. Again, one octave higher. Wow, here. That's, um, where are we now? Uh, at uh, 3520, and we go up again, one octave to uh, this is 7000 uh, kilohertz. Okay, again here we are at 440. So if we go now to the serum, at the moment we had a sinus wave and the sinus wave is a frequency without any overtones. But we can change this here to other waveforms like a triangle and you see now we have a lot of overtones. One is an octave higher, the next is five notes higher and it's getting more and more and more. Let's find another one. Now you see we have, that that's the triangle, right? Now we have a lot of high frequencies, but they have not so much volume. Let's go to the next here, that's the square. And here we have a lot of high frequencies. Maybe we should work with this when we take a look to the features of our Fruity Parametric EQ2.
All right. We have here seven bands. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And you see the same bands here on the right side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two to six are parametric EQs at the moment. That's this symbol here that shows us that they are parametric EQ. So what is a parametric EQ? Let's take, for example, the number four that is at the moment at 630 hertz. We can make it louder. That's all, again this gain knob here, right? And we can bring it down. And we can change the frequency. So that's the two possibilities we have. Find a frequency and make it louder or with less volume. But there is a third option we can change the bandwidth. So do we just select a very small range? What would sound like this? So you can see here the separate overtones. That's the basic note. Or here the first overtone, the second, and so on. Or do we have a, a brighter range where we sele uh, can change many overtones? So that's the three options we have on a parametric EQ like this. We can change the gain, we can change the frequency, and we can change the bandwidth. But um, if we use the option or the Alt key to select this, you bring it back to the main position back in the middle. So simply option click it or also here the bandwidth simply click it with the option or alt key and it goes perfectly to the default position all right now we have a lot of more position uh, possibilities then we also have here um, the low frequency and the high frequency the low band and the high band um, here we have a shelf eq what is a shelf eq doing uh, a shelf eq in the basses is pushing uh, the basses or bringing the volume of the basses down starting at a special frequency that you can choose so let's choose 500 hertz and now we go up and down. Here it's doing nothing because it's too low. We don't have a frequency at the moment that is so low, but here it's doing a lot. And the same we have for the high frequencies on band seven. So we can push them starting at the special frequency or bring it down. So we saw the parametric EQ and the low and the high shelf EQ, but there are a lot more options. So let's go to band number four, the yellow one. We can change here what the band is doing. So we can make also a high shelf EQ here, like we saw it, but we also can go to, for example, um, let's start here to a filter. In this case, it would be a high pass filter. It's easy to understand. A high pass filter lets, I'm sorry, let the high frequency pass, right? So we can uh, give away the low frequency uh, starting at 40 hertz. And now we go up, 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 up. So that's what we can do with this. And we also can use a low pass filter um, looking like this, where we can hard cut the high frequencies. And there's an option more, and this is this little dot here, right? Uh, you can click on this little dot and move it up or down. And then you are changing how fast your filter is working. You can go to 
different types of filters. Also here at the parametric EQ, you can change how the parametric EQ looks like. You see what the, in the graphic is changing? That's basically what you can do here to change this. So what else do we have? We have some kind of notch filter. Here we would cut the high and the low frequencies. And we have the opposite, that's this one here, where you cut at the special frequencies, a special frequency, you cut something out. And also here we can make this a little brighter or smaller. All right, let's go back to the main position everywhere like this. I have here a vocal for you. Boy, you play too many games. You play them hard, cause you couldn't restrain. This is of my last production, You Moving Out. You find this song on Spotify. It's a great house track we produced live on Twitch. The vocal is by Alexandra Prince. Boy, you play too many games. So let's look to our equalizer, Fruity Parametric EQ2, our equalizer, and see uh, where are the overtones and the basic note of our vocal. Boy, you play too many games. So you see we have a lot of overtones and the basic note is Boy, you play too many games. somewhere here at 250. So if she's singing lower notes, it goes more to 200 hertz. If she's singing higher notes, it's going up to 300 and higher. Always we're talking about the basic note. Boy, you play too many games. You play them hard, cause you couldn't restrain. On your list, I'm just another name. All right. So what can we do to optimize this vocal a little bit? The first thing we can do, we can cut the low frequencies that we don't need. So a, a man's voice would start at something like 150 hertz. A woman voice starts at something like 200. Let's lose, uh, use a filter like a high pass filter, like this one here. Maybe a little stronger, like this one. And now we see where can we cut the low frequencies that we don't need uh, to keep the low frequencies for the bass, uh, the bass guitar or the bass or the bass drum or the kick. Boy, you play too many games. You play them hard, cause you couldn't restrain. On your list, I'm just another name. I would go up to something like 120 hertz because it's also cutting here a little bit. So now we cut everything away that we don't need. Boy, you play too many games. So let's bring all the frequencies this is a little bit to the right and now I take this one here a parametric EQ and um, 400 Hertz is something important where sometimes it sounds a little muddy Boy, you play too many games. so it's always good to give a little bit away but not too much all the things I show you please do don't do it exactly like this because every vocal sounds different. Every microphone sounds different. It's a big um, different if you're closer to the microphone. You have more deep, uh, low frequencies, right? If you're far away, your vocal sounds a little thinner. So you have to listen. Maybe also listen to other tracks, how the vocals sound there. And then you understand if you have to push these frequencies or to give away. In this case, I would give a little bit away here. Boy, you play too many games. Here in the graphic you see in percentage what you are doing. If you want to see it in dB, take a look in the hint panel on the left corner of FL Studio 21. Boy, so we see here we go down at 1.5 dB at something like 450 hertz. Boy. 
boy, you play too many games. One kilohertz is very important for vocals because it's good for understanding. So sometimes I push this a little bit. Boy, you play too many games. Normally one to the B is absolutely enough. Also here at five kilohertz we can do a little bit. Boy, you play too many games. You play them hard, cause you couldn't restrain. Oh. And maybe we use um, high shelf EQ to push the high frequencies a little bit or bring them down if they are too much. Boy, you play too many games. You play them hard, cause you couldn't restrain. On your list, I'm just another name. Something like this would be okay to make your vocal standing a little bit better in the mix, cutting through a little bit more. And now I have a very special tip for you if you produce EDM, house, hip hop or pop music. Because the sounds of FL Studio are not perfect maybe for your music genre. And to get the right sounds I have a perfect tip for you, that's the Mutant Player. The Mutant Player is ba in the basic version free, uh, you can download it for free uh, at mutant.com and you will find there the perfect drum sounds, bass sounds, pianos, keyboards, synthesizer and orchestra sounds. Check it out, the Mutant Player at mutant.com. <laughs> 